Hi everybody, this is Mr. Mendoza again. Today's um, goal is to represent money amounts using bills and coins. It is very important that when you do the Google form today that you take your time, okay? So when we're looking at, when I was looking at yesterday's work, there were a little bit of um, rushing that I saw and definitely with dealing with coins, you need to take your time and understand, okay, which one is that represent? Um, especially with, with nickels and dimes. So just keep that in mind. But today you're gonna open the Google form, which is right here. And you're gonna complete the first four questions. And it's review from yesterday's work. And then carefully watch the math video by Ms. Kafari. Complete the rest of the form and they play the games at the end. So it's gonna look something like this. You write your name in there. You'll see the first four questions are similar to what we had yesterday. So take your time in doing that, okay? So take your time in doing that. One of the things that I'm going to suggest is if you're doing the coins that you look at this website right here, and it's called Money Master. So what you're gonna do is you're not going to do the target part right here. So that's something if you want to play the game. You're not using it for the game. You're actually just thinking about this square here. So one of the questions was, let's take a quick look. One of the questions is this one right here. So 5 and 10, though we know that for sure, that's 15. So now you're left with the coins. So this website right here, which I'll add, um, you can put stuff on here and then you gives you a total. So let's do this one together. So we have a loony and a toony and a quarter. Loony, toony, quarter. Loony, toony, quarter. So notice that this gives you a total right there, which is great. And remember, we already have 15. Okay, plus we added these. Let's put three dimes in there. 10, 20, 30, so $3.55 plus the $15, so $15, so we already have $15 from the 10 and the $5 bill plus $3, which is 18, now this is $15 from the very beginning. This has a decimal which separates the cents and the dollars is 55. So when we are adding this up, what we're going to do is keep the decimal or the, what separates the dollar and the cents, keep it right there and you're just going to add them. So five cents plus zero cents is five. 50 cents plus zero cents is 50 cents. So the total is $18.55. So if you go to here, you're going to type in $18. Now remember it says you have to, have to make sure that you put the dollar sign first. Okay, it's very important that you do that. So dollar sign so shift four and I'm gonna go back $18.55 so $18.55 okay and then move on so I'm going to add this little link here so this little money master okay I'm going to add to here use this to help you count the coins. There we go. Hopefully that helps you a little bit and make that. And this is the thing that I saw yesterday. Some people just needed a little bit of help with the counting the coins and take your time, please. All right, and then yeah, so you just do this part here and watch the video by Ms. Kafari. Then you have six more questions and they're all multiple choice. And last but not least,
you do purpose bluff practice. So you're going to play one of these games here or both and then click submit. That is everything. This is out of 10, 10 points. So one point there. So 10 out of 10. And just like yesterday, out of 10. So let's see how well you do. We want to hit for 80% or 8 out of 10. This is your math activity for today. If you need, any question, you need help or any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.